the bank today, we're going to talk you through a couple of the products that we've got here from Blake Baits. We've got three different ground baits in the range up to now. Um, we've got the Betaine Green, we've got the Commercial Masters Pole Mix, and we've got the Pure Crushed Expander. Each ground bait needs to be mixed slightly different to get the most out of them, and each one is designed for a different style of fishing as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to run you through how to mix them, how to get the best out of them, because they all need to be slightly tailored depending how you add the water, do you add the water before or do you add the water afterwards. So we'll give you a little demonstration of how they mix up. So the first ground bait we're going to talk you through is the betaine. Now Paul himself used this ground bait for many years, bought it from Blake's even when he wasn't sponsored by Blake's. It's a very high oil content. Um, you've got to be careful how you mix this. Very, you? very careful. It's pure green ground down pellets so there's literally nothing else in it. Yeah. Um, it's a popular skimmer mix and to be honest it's some ground bait that I like using at Porth so when I'm fishing a meth feeder when I don't want to feed a lot there's a lot of smell a lot of attraction but what you said you've got to be so so careful how you mix it. When I first mixed it I mixed it like normal ground bait and you can't yeah. you really can't. Clag, it clags up if you yeah. over wet it, it clags up so you've got to be careful when you're adding the water to it because it's like I say it's it's a very strong mix, so for big bream, things like that, yeah. carp fishing yeah. in the edge. For a method, it's lovely, yeah. really, really nice. So there it is, dry. Now, normally you'd pour your water in, but what I'm going to do is literally, I've only put a bit in, I'm just going to dunk my fingers in it and literally do it a bit at a time because you don't need to add literally that. That's how much water I've added. And if you give it a squeeze already, you can see that it's starting to bind. Yeah. So it needs a little bit more water literally just mix it with your fingers you don't need a lot also it makes a really really nice paste really really um very soft ground bait as well if you're going to use it for a paste though you probably mix it backwards like the expander yeah, yeah yes yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll talk and through that in a bit like yeah. this is mixing it standard if you like um when we actually use the expander you actually mix it backwards and add the ground bait to the water and that way you get a smoother consistency so if you want to use this for your paste fishing um, mix it backwards, put the water in first and just add the ground bait as you go along until you get the consistency you want of your paste yeah. then. So all I would do is literally just dunk my fingers, just mix it so it's like damp to the texture, not wet, yeah. just damp and you can feel it. And it's like that, you can squeeze it yeah. and you can see that it's, it's, it binds. It still breaks down it, yeah, nice but, but it binds really yeah, well. Yeah, but it binds really well and that's what's really, really nice. So if I just pop it through a riddle quick. Um, just to take all the big lumps out of such. But yeah, spread, so it's, spread the water distribution for yeah, that. Yeah, sure yeah, and just clogging. take out, yeah. The thing is, you, like I say, this is the one mix. It's not like normal ground bait. That's what I like about it. Like what you say, this is what I've used for a, you know, a fair few years now. But you just got to be really careful how you mix yeah. it. And that's it finished as such. Yeah. You know, you can dampen it up a little bit more if you'd like to. But... The reason I like mixing it like that is because I combined it, but it still breaks down. If you add too much water, because of the oil content, it just literally won't break down. Yeah. But it's, so, it's, if you was going in the shop and you was buying that product, when would you find it best to use? For a method feed, it's really, really good. Yeah. When I don't want to feed a lot of bait. So when you're fishing for sort of bream and carp and you're having one chuck every now and again you're not going to introduce a lot of bait it's very good um it's, it's, very, it's very very strong yeah so like porf's a brilliant example because i don't need to feed a lot of bait but i've got enough bait there to get me a bite and the one thing with this is skimmers absolutely love it yeah. um and to be honest it's very reasonably priced only 3.99 yeah. and for normal ground baits like this they're sort of five pounds five, six yeah. Quid, yeah yeah so such a lovely mix and i've used it in the edge as well for carp um it's very very nice just pure pure betaine ground up there's yeah. no no bulking agents whatsoever no, it's ever. yeah it's 100 percent pure mm. betaine so what's with that as well just say for our um commercial pole mix if you wanted to make it a little bit stronger you could add a bit you could just add a little bit just take the edge off it but yeah you, it's, it's such a good um ground bait second ground bait we're going to talk to you about is the commercial masters pole mix now 
this took a while to get right. We spent like three or four months testing it, waiting for the weather to warm up so we could actually make sure that the fish want to eat it. So basically yeah. it's a ground bait with a high pellet based um, backing if you yeah, like. Yeah. Um, there's no breadcrumb whatsoever in it because in our experience yeah. we found breadcrumb carpet F1s don't like it as much as pellets. So yeah. we've tried to keep it as pellet based as possible. Um, and it's basically designed for all poles, yeah, yeah. pole fishing. When we originally started, we wanted to make sort of like a one mix does everything. Yeah. But with this, what we found out by accident is when you over wet it, which is how we like to feed it in the edge a lot of the time, a lot of the ground baits, when you add too much water, they go almost paste like, don't they? Yeah. Very easily. Clag up. Whereas with this, it doesn't do that, which yeah. is really nice for the pole. And then we're going to do a feeder one like later on yeah. down the line. Um, but that was really important. So with this mix, we wanted it to be able to feed it dry. So you use it in a feeder as well. Yeah. Um, it holds bait well, doesn't it? it holds yeah. mark yeah. pellets well. But also worms. you can, pardon? If you want to fish it with worms, worms and yeah. bait. Um, you can dampen it down and it makes a nice slop as well. So yeah. if you talk us through um, like the finished sort of thing and then we show you how to mix it. Yeah, so like, like I say, it's just a basic all round pole mix, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, Skimmers love it. I used it yeah. more. If you was fishing across, if you was margin fishing, anything like that, if you don't know what to use, this would be the ground bait yeah, to go to. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you could add some betaine, so you could have some of the pure betaine if you wanted it stronger for the summertime. Yeah. You could actually add some crushed expander and sort of milding it down yeah, a little yeah, bit as well. Like So yeah. sometimes you can mix the ground baits amongst themselves. Yeah. Um, but for my standard summer fishing, if you like, I basically just mix it straight yeah, out of the bag. Yeah. So mixing wise, do you want to just show us yeah, how to yeah, mix yeah, this yeah, one? Yeah. So this will take a little bit more water because it's got a lot of pellets in it. Um, it's not as high oil as the betaine. So you can add a little bit more water, um, try and get it over wet to start with, get all them particles in there, make sure they absorb the water. So, so with this see, I've added a lot more water. Yeah, a lot more water, mm. get it nice and damp to start with. You can see there, so if I show you that as such, like in the end, I suppose it's easier. But you can see how wet it is. Yeah, already. it gets like quite, it's almost like a bit sandy if you like, yeah. wet sand. That was one thing as well when we was making it, you know, the consistency of the pellets as well that we've ground down and the pellets that we've mixed. Yeah, Having the right size particle was really, really important because if it was too fine... It's, it didn't sink as no. quick. You wanted it a little bit coarser so it feels a bit sandy in your hands, a bit gritty type, which is... The advantage of that is that your ground bait's going to sink quicker. So if you're fishing in shallow water up to an island or in the edges, um, your ground bait's going to get to the bottom quite quick. You're still going to have your cloud effect, but it's not going to be wafting about as much as some ground baits. So with it now, I can literally just push it for a riddle. You can see how damp, how damp it was a minute ago. Just literally push it for a riddle. And that's the one thing, like the particle size was really important to us yeah. wasn't it, when we was doing it and took quite a bit of getting, um, getting right. But So that there now is how you'd want it. Yeah. But obviously that would maybe dry out yeah, another well, five yeah, or ten yeah. minutes. So it's just a case then of like you do with the betaine, just slowly add it by hand then and just get it to the consistency you want it. And once it's absorbed all the particles, if you were, say, pole fishing across or in the edges and you're fishing in a kinder cup or a big pot, you basically, I like to get it as damp as I possibly yeah. can. So I'll just keep doing it, just get it to that stage before it clags, and then put it back through a riddle, and then you'll have a nice damp ground bait. So when you're mad, like I say, yeah. when you're doing any sort yeah. of pole yeah. fishing, um, commercials, it's just a perfect all round mix. Our last ground bait that we've got at the moment is 100% pure ground expanders. Again, particle size really, really important when we was doing this. So for the expander, when would you look to use that over the other mixes? The expander for me is more of like skimmers. Love it because it's so soft. Yeah. Um, it's not high in oil or anything no. like that. So it's a real soft mix if you like. So if I was feeding it um, winter time, you could feed it loose. You could fish it in a cage feeder. Yeah. Brilliant for F1s when you don't want to feed that many micro pellets or you don't want to feed any micro pellets and you just want to get bites without filling the fish yeah. up, then you can almost overwet it and feed it just neat out, out of the pot. Yeah. So like 
the way you mix it to get the best results is you want to actually mix it backwards. So if you take a bit of water, what I'll do is I'll pour the water in my tub. So however much ground, but you don't need loads in the winter time. So if I was fishing in the winter, you can actually do it in a bait tub, yeah. but I'm just going to do it in a bucket. Yeah. And then I would add my ground bait to it. So just give it a swill round. So again, when we was making this and getting it right, there were a few things like the colour is really important to you. Yeah. The particle size, you don't want it like flower. You want the right pattern. That's you don't want it too. You don't want it too um, light. Yeah. Because then it don't work as well. So you want the you want it a little bit coarse. Yeah. Um, again. So it's almost like a third of a micro yeah. size. If you grind it too much, yeah. you know we're just trying. If you don't grind it enough or you grind it too much it's not right so yeah. you've just got the grinding perfect yeah so you can see there it's almost like clagged so because yeah. it's expander it'll take a lot of water on so you're always best to do it like this so it's totally dampened so that now is as damp as it can be yeah, yeah. and then it's just a case pushing it through the riddle but again with this one it will take on a lot a lot of water a lot of water so once this goes through the riddle now it's going to give me if you like, you've got micro pellets. It's sort of the next step down from micro pellets. So it's really soft as it's going yeah, through there. Yeah. And then what you're left with is like... It's lovely. Yeah, it's like individual particles. You know, if micro pellets are like two mils, these are like half mils. Yeah. So it's perfect for, like I say, if you're just fishing in the winter, you don't want to feed anything, you can just tap that in neat, fishing expander or maggot over it. If you want to put it in a cage yeah. feeder, you know, Small skimmers in particular love it. Yeah. So if I'm going to a venue where there's a lot of new skimmers, small skimmers, it's great for sort of putting a little ball in, loose feeding a few maggots over the top of it. So yeah, it's got a lot of uses yeah. to it. So just as a rough guide, expanders sort of cold weather time. You can use it when it's warmer, but it's not as strong, not as potent. It's not as potent, and then, no. Our uh, pole mix is sort of an in-betweeny summary mix, yeah. and then the betangs, the other end of the spectrum, very, very strong, very rich, very potent. Very potent. Yeah. So with those three at the moment, that you know we've got one for we've got like everything, the different strengths. Yeah. We've got different strengths covered in all three ground base. Yeah. So there's something out there for all of you. Like I say, we're going to try and develop a feeder one. Yeah, for so a method feeder one. Purely just for yeah. sort of feeder fishing. Yeah, and then just, sweet fish meal. Uh, one sweet of, fish yeah. meal one. Um, if I was fishing sweet fish meal now, then that, you can add a bit of expander yeah. to it. Yeah, um, makes your mix really, really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes, makes it really soft, soft really fluffy. Yeah. And that's the thing with that, even though you've, how you wetted it, you wouldn't think it had come back around, but it's come back around lovely. The important thing with that is when you mix it backwards, everything's damp now. Yeah. If you, you mix it, it bit by bit, heavy. it'll just keep taking water on, and then it's always better to mix it damp, get it claggy, leave it to stand yeah. obviously we're doing it quick here because we're doing the video but leave it to stand five minutes through a riddle and then just check it yeah. and again if you want to adjust it just literally tinker it with your fingers and just add bit by bit yeah so that's the three ground baits in the range up to now they're all available from blakesbaits.co.uk. Uh, they all retail at £3.99 for a kilo bags. If you buy in bulk online, you can get a little bit cheaper as well. Yeah. Uh, I think they sell me five and 10 kilos. Yeah, and maybe even 20 maybe kilos. Maybe even 20 kilos, yeah. So, but, yeah, one thing I was going to say, if you ever want to phone them up, you know, I'm sure they, they sell everything in bulk. So yeah. if, you know, you're buying big quantities yeah if you like phone up for a price and they give you it yeah they're really good like that so so yeah check it out blakesbaits.co.uk all the baits on there just go to the fishing side of it and everything you need will be on the website